Hey, welcome to part 2 of the bat tutorial. In this video, we'll do the wings and the final assembly of the bat. In this part of the tutorial, I'll be referring to a double crochet increase a lot. This means two double crochet into the same stitch. So the wings are basically one large circle made out of double crochet and we then fold it in half. For the wings, I'm first going to film using acrylic yarn because it shows up a bit better on camera. And then we'll do the wings out of the plush yarn. We're going to start off by making a magic ring. There are a few different ways of doing the magic ring and you can use whichever one you like. And I'm just going to secure the magic ring with a chain stitch. Now we start on round one. So we chain three. And this chain three basically counts as a double crochet. Now I'm going to do a double crochet into the magic ring. So I have my chain 3 and my double crochet both on the magic ring. And while doing these wings, I'm always going to mark the top of that chain 3 because it's easier to see when finishing the round. So I've already done one double crochet over there and now I'm going to do another 14 double crochet into the ring. And when making these stitches I'm working quite loosely because this is going to be a very large magic ring and I still want to be able to tighten it at the end. So I've done 15 double crochet as well as my chain 3. This counts as 16 double crochet in total. And now I'm going to tighten the ring. Once the ring is tight, we're going to do a slip stitch to the top of that chain 3. This is the same stitch we marked earlier. If you're struggling to get it into that stitch, you can just remove the stitch marker first. So there's the slip stitch. And if you've taken the marker out, just remember where that stitch is. Now we start with round 2 and we chain 3. Now into that same stitch that was marked, we do a double crochet. Because the chain 3 counts as a double crochet, it's as though there are two double crochet in the same stitch. And I'm always going to mark the top of that chain 3. Now into the next stitch, I'm going to do two double crochet into the same stitch. This is a double crochet increase. And two double crochet in the stitch after that. So there's my chain three and double crochet into the first stitch, two double crochet into the second stitch, and two double crochet into the third. And we're going to do that all the way around giving us 15 double crochet increases in total. So now we've got the principle down, we're going to do the same thing in the plush yarn. First create a magic ring and secure it with a chain. Now we start with round one. 
and we chain three. And once again, I'm crocheting quite loosely because I want to be able to tighten the magic ring later. Now we do a double crochet into the ring. And same as before, I'm going to put a stitch marker in the top of that chain three. So that's one stitch before the one we just did. So we've done one double crochet into the ring and we're going to do another 14. So I'm just going to count to check I've got all my stitches. So that's the chain 3 plus 15 more double crochet. And then I'm going to tighten the ring. You might have to pull quite hard if you're using plush yarn. And now I'm going to do a slip stitch to the top of that chain 3. Remember you can remove the stitch marker if you're struggling to get it in that chain stitch. Just make sure to remember where it is. So now we've completed round 1. In round 2 we start with a chain 3. And then we double crochet into that same marked stitch. And as always, I'm marking the top of that chain. And I'm just going to leave this one there for now. Now we need to do a double crochet increase into the next stitch. And that will be the stitch next to the one marked with a yellow stitch marker. And I'm going to make a double crochet increase into every stitch around. So I've done my 15 double crochet increases and I'm just going to take out that yellow marker from earlier and then slip stitch into that marked stitch which is the top of the chain 3. And that is the end of round 2. In round 3 we start with a chain 3. And now we're going to do a double crochet increase into the next stitch. So that's not the marked stitch, it's the one next to it. And I'm just going to mark the top of that chain 3, which is the third stitch from the hook. And now we're going to follow the pattern of a double crochet, then double crochet increase. So one double crochet into the stitch and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to do that 15 times in total. So basically in each round we're increasing the number of double crochets between the double crochet increases. This is basically the same way as we do it with single crochet circles, except we're using double crochets and chains. Once I've done all those stitches, I do a slip stitch to the top of the chain 3, which is that marked stitch. And I can take off that bottom stitch marker. 
In round four, we start by chaining three. Then we do a double crochet in the stitch after the marked stitch. And I'm just going to mark the top of the chain again. And then we do a double crochet increase into the next stitch. And now in the next two stitches, we just do a double crochet in each. And then in the next one, we do a double crochet increase. And we're going to do that 15 times. With these wings, if you get to the end of the round and you realize you've missed a stitch or added a stitch somewhere, it doesn't really matter. The overall shape will still be pretty much the same. So don't stress if your round isn't perfect. And now I'm doing the slip stitch to the top of the chain 3. Now for round 5, we chain 3. And then we're going to do a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And I'm just marking that chain again. And then a double crochet increase into the next stitch. And then we do three double crochet and then a double crochet increase and we do that 15 times. Then we join back to the marked stitch with a slip stitch. And now we're ready to do the last round. So we chain three and then do a double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And then it's four double crochet and then a double crochet increase and we do that 15 times. But at the end of round six I'm not going to join with a slip stitch. So I finished round six and I haven't joined back to that chain. And I'm going to fold the piece in half and you can see the overall shape of the wings. We're going to be crocheting across both edges. But first I'm just going to mark that very last stitch we did. So that was the last stitch of round 6. Now we chain 3. And we're going to do a double crochet across those marked stitches. So yarn over and then go into the first marked stitch which was the top of that chain 3. And then the second one which was the last stitch of round 6. And then complete your double crochet. So now we have that chain 3 and a double crochet right at the edge. And now we're going to continue crocheting along both edges. So going across both edges we do 5 single crochet. And then a double crochet increase. And we do all of that 3 times.
and then we do 10 single crochet and then a double crochet increase and then we do 5 single crochet and a double crochet increase and we do that 3 times And here is the last double crochet increase into that last stitch. If you don't want to see the seam where we joined the rounds, you can make single crochets along the top. But I'm going to leave it as is. And now we can cut the yarn making sure to leave a tail for sewing. And here is the overall shape of my wings. And the body is going to sit in the center like so. Now we're going to assemble the bat and I like to start with the ears. And I put them about two rounds from the top of the head, slightly curved. I like putting those single crochets that we did at the end towards the back of the head. So position the ear where you want it to go and mine starting two rounds from the top. And I'm curving it slightly. If you want you can use pins to help keep it in place. Grab a stitch from the head and then go up into a stitch at the back of the ear and down into the next stitch of the ear. And then grab the next stitch on the head. Once I reach the opposite side of the ear, I'm going to grab the end of the ear and insert my yarn underneath just to pull it in a little bit and do the same on the other side. You can bring your yarn back and forth a few times if you want to secure it more. And I'm going to do the second ear exactly the same, just make sure it's symmetrical with the first. Once you're happy that the ear is securely attached, you can bring the two yarn tails together and tie them together. Next we are going to sew the body onto the wings. First I'm taking the tail and I'm weaving it towards the middle. Now I'm going to make stitches along the side of the body just to connect it to the wings. And I'm going to go all the way down the body. So 
So I've gone down the one side and now I'm attaching the bottom and then we'll go up the other side. Once you've gone all the way around the body, you can insert the yarn into the piece and bring it through to a few different places to secure it. So now the body and the wings are done and we just need to do the mouth. You'll need a short length of black or white yarn and I like to start the mouth two rounds down from the eye. And then I like to embroider on one fang. And I'm actually going to make the fang a bit lower down. And you'll just need to play around with the design to see what works for you. And there is your completed bat. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.